Here's our next lesson on converting fractions into decimals. So we're going to start with a fraction and we're going to end up with a decimal. Some essential vocabulary that you guys need to know is that a terminating decimal is a decimal that does not repeat. It will have an end to it. So when you are working it out, you know, there's a, there's a few things that can happen when you're working with decimals. One thing is that it can keep going and going and going and have repeating decimal. The other thing is that it will end. Just like when you divide a whole number by something that is divisible, call that a factor. Uh, terminating decimals is what we're going to be dealing with with this lesson primarily. We're going to get to repeating decimals later. Now one thing that I'm going to encourage you to use when you're doing these problems is to use your calculator. It's going to be fine to use your calculator. You just have to know how to use it. To convert using your calculator, just take your numerator, the 7, and divide by your denominator. Top divided by the bottom. 7 divided by 8 is 875 thousandths. That's how you say it the right way. 875 thousandths. The 5 is in the thousandths place, that's so that is why I said thousandths. So that seems pretty easy. Here's our next one, 7 twentieths. Now I have gone ahead, and I'm not going to go through this, but if you want to pause it and jot this down, that's fine. But I've gone ahead and shown how to do it the long division method. This is the basic algorithm. An algorithm is a set of rules on how to solve something. And that's what it would look like if we did the long division. We would bring the decimal straight up. We would continue doing the division. But I'm not going to get into all that. I would rather just show you what to do on your calculator. So 7 divided by 20. So when you use your calculator, just do the top number, 7, and divide by the bottom number. So 7 divided by 20. And then hit equal, and there you go, 35 hundredths. So we got 35 hundredths right here. Nothing was different. Here's the next one. Now this is a mixed number. Some people get a little bit confused when it's a mixed number. But don't let that get you down. Why don't you go ahead and convert it into an improper fraction first. If you forgot how to do that already, just do 4 times 3 plus 3. 4 times 3 is 12. 12 plus 3 is 15. And that just stays the same in the 4. So 15 fourths. Now to change this into a decimal, just use your calculator and do 15 divided by 4. Right here, that's what I got when I did it, the long division method. That would be called a terminating decimal. It's terminating because it had a resolution here. It resolved itself. We have zero. Some, like I said, sometimes you keep getting another number besides zero. It will never resolve itself. This is definitely a terminating decimal. Moving right along. Oh, you might want to go ahead and jot down the steps here if you have not already done so. Those should be in your notes. Next example is 8 25ths. So what is that going to be as a decimal? Well, here's the answer, of course. But I just want to show you on the calculator how to do it. That matches everything. There's all your long division there. And you'll notice this resolved itself. We have a zero down here. We have basically no remainder. But there's no such thing as remainders when you're dealing with decimals. No remainders. Never, never put a remainder when you're dealing with decimals. None. Never, never, never. Don't put a remainder. Here's another one. This is one where you have a mixed number. So change the mixed number into an improper fraction first. And then go through the steps. So 153 25 ths We got that by doing 25 times 6, which is 150. 150 plus 3 is 153. Everything matches up. 
Okay, that does it. Now, even though I encouraged you to, to use your calculator, it is going to be important that you know how to do this without a calculator as well. If you don't know how to do it with a calculator, I would practice it a couple times. Make sure you can figure out the long division. Having the excuse saying, I don't have a calculator, is no excuse as to why you could not do these problems. Everyone have a great night. I'll see you in the next time.